Tonight, here's a look at Republican candidate Marco Rubio. 39-year-old Marco Rubio is living the American dream. He's a smart, charismatic attorney who's married to a former Dolphins cheerleader and has four kids. He also happens to be running for U.S. Senate. I'm grateful, too, to my parents, who as a young man... Rubio is one of four children born to Cuban immigrants. His parents came to this country in 1959. Marco was born in Miami. Growing up in a Cuban household is like a uh, family-wide endeavor. I mean, you're not just being raised by your parents. It's your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins. His father got a job bartending in Las Vegas, so the Rubio family packed up and moved to Nevada when Marco was eight. His mother also worked as a hotel housekeeper. He says his parents sacrificed everything to give their family a better life, something he refuses to forget. We weren't rich. We weren't privileged. You know, my parents were working class I and mean, sometimes worked two jobs. But I think the most important thing they offered us was they encouraged us to dream and, 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 and to pursue our dreams and, and helped us to understand our whole life that we would have the chance to do things they never had the chance to do. The family would ultimately move back to Miami in 1985. Rubio attended South Miami High School, went on to the University of Florida, and then to law school at UM, where he graduated cum laude. Rubio went on to represent West Miami, but made a name for himself as Speaker of the House in 2006. In May of 2009, Rubio announced his plans to run for the U.S. Senate seat vacated by Mel Martinez. Many believed he could never get the Republican nomination from the popular governor. If I had paid attention to the polls, I never would have gotten into the race because I was like 35 points down when I first got in. It was sheer determination and a message that never swayed that got him the Republican nomination, forcing Governor Chris to run as an independent. Uh, this race is about the future of our country and, and, and what I hope would be a, a competition of competing views and visions about America's future. Rubio, who lost his father just over a month ago, refers to him often as his inspiration and feels at peace knowing that he would be proud regardless regardless of the outcome. The important thing for my dad was not the profession that I chose, but the fact that I got to do what I loved uh, for a living and for my life, and that, that I got an opportunity to pursue my dreams and hopes, things he wasn't able to do. I think that's what would have made him proud. Would a future run for the White House be in the cards as well? This is it. I mean, I want to run for the U.S. Senate. I want to serve in the U.S. Senate for a period of time. Then I want to come back home and, and live under the laws we passed and, and be successful at something else. For now, November 2nd is the challenge at hand. We feel very confident about what we stand for. And, you know, win or lose, and I believe we're going to win, but, but win or lose, I'll be proud of the race that we ran because it was based on the ideas, on our vision for America's future. Marco Rubio got bitten by the political bug when he interned for Representative Ileana Ross-Layton and Lincoln Diaz-Balart.